With the display in solid outline mode, drag CAD 3 to the grid. Notice how strange the geometry looks. We can see features of the geometry we should not be able to see while in this mode. Let's render it. Looks fine. This is a common problem with imported files, in this case a DXF file. The cause is that the normals of all the faces are pointing the wrong way. The flip all normals of object tool will fix this. But first, why did it render fine? The answer is that the render engine has single sided rendering turned off. This means that no matter which way the normal is pointing, both sides of the surface will get rendered. With single-sided rendering turned on, this is what the rendering looks like. Not good. Now with the bearing selected, we will click on the Flip All Normals tool. Notice the difference in the real-time display. This is what we should have seen in the first place. This is an advantage of real-time solid rendering display. The render will now always come out right. Delete the bearing. Switch to real-time wireframe mode. Click on the pegs object. When we try to boolean subtract the pegs from the bar, they are added instead. This is because one of the objects has its normals reversed. Switch to solid outline mode. The entire object has its normals reversed. Undo the boolean operation. Now we see that the bar was the problem. This is an advantage of real-time solid display. Flip the normals on the bar. When we try the boolean subtract again, we get what was intended in the first place. Clear the scene. Sometimes during the creation process, strange faces will appear in the geometry. As an example, drag goblet 5 to the grid. Notice the surface artifact during real-time display. During a final render, the artifacts do not always show up, but can cause problems with other future operations. Yet another advantage of real-time solid rendering display. Click on the Fix Bad Geometry tool to fix it.